Residents of Barrier Lake say they live in third world conditions only hours from Ottawa. Hundreds from the Algonquin community arrived on Parliament Hill today. They were here to protest their treatment by the Canadian government. CTV's John Wall reports. They came from the remote community of Barrier Lake, angry over a broken promise. The community of Barrier Lake live in uh, third world conditions. Good job. Hundreds of Algonquins rallying on Parliament Hill. They say the Canadian government is trying to take away their only livelihood, their land. And it's a rejuvenating uh, storm that's coming in to, uh, to voice our concern about what's happening in, uh, in our homeland, our territory. The dispute is over 10,000 square kilometers of forest, more than three hours north of the capital. The community of 350 people is rich in resources, but poor in everything else. They say the federal government forced an election and new leadership into their community. Indian Affairs Minister John Duncan released this statement. The government's first and foremost priority is the community and to ensure that essential programs and services are effectively delivered. And as they march along, residents of Barrier Lake say they're trying to narrow the gap between their impoverished community and those that are getting rich off their land. They say Hydro-Quebec is making millions off of dams in Barrier Lake, which they don't see a cent of. On top of that, their community is still powered by a generator that they say doesn't often work. We have a poor housing condition and we have a generator for electricity and it's not too good. And there is fear that under new leadership, the forest will be clear-cut. The animals, like, they don't have no place to go. We have to go far away. And they say when all you have to live off is the land, not only the forest is in danger, but an entire community's existence. John Hua, CTV News.